Hello and good evening. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Munge the Iron Man Washira. And uh, today I'm going to do some small education on how I eat and seek to debunk some of the myths that we have always been taught. So it's been a tiring day for me. It's been a it's been quite a long day because I had to go and uh, buy all of these things that you can see here. We have some pork ribs there that are very fatty. You can see the pork ribs that are there. We have some lamb steak and the specific steak that I like lamb, the lamb steak that I like is from a breed of sheep known as the Merino sheep. So the steaks are there. They've already been sliced for me into one and a half inch slices by my favorite butcher. Then we have some sardines there. Those are sardines that are very high in omega-3 content. Sardines are very high in omega-3 content, so they are very, very good for uh, our health. They are also high in calcium. And a, a brother or a sister to the sardines is what we call mackerel. Mackerel is a wonderful kind of a fish that is also high in omega-3 uh, fatty acids, which are very, very good for our health. Then at the back there we have some lamb, that is the merino lamb mince, which I use to make my burger patties. I usually combine this with eggs, yellow yolk eggs, and make some lovely burger patties. At the back there we have what we call the pork belly, that is about 4.7 kilograms of pork belly, which I shall use to make my home manufactured bacon. So I'll be using that pork belly. It's a rack of a pork belly. It's quite long, but it is folded in that bag there because it is quite a large slab of pork belly, which I'll use to make my bacon. Next to that, we have pork liver. I don't know how many people have ever tried pork liver, but it is very, very sweet. Next to the pork liver, we have what we call calamari uh, or squid. That is a kind of a seafood that is very, very healthy as well. So I, I do love having a cocktail of meats on my diet and my diet is called the carnivore diet. So there we have the squid or the calamari as we call it in the coast in Kenya. That was the pork liver. Then at the back there we have what we call prawns. So we have some prawns that are already peeled and uh, these are wonderful uh, accompaniment to my carnivore diet meal. Usually I would weigh about 85 to 90 grams serving of prawns and have that on my plate. Next to the prawns we have what we call salmon. Uh, this uh, salmon has its skin on. It's very, very sweet when you do it properly. If you cook it properly, with the skin on, it tastes very, very sweet. Then next to her, that, we have what are known as the lamb bones. These are bones that I shall use to make my soup. Then, of course, uh, next to that, uh, uh, so these bones, I shall boil them and, and uh, make my lovely bone broth. I shall not do any additional, any additives, no herbs. I shall only put some salt in that. And then next to that, up here, we have our eggs. I have 30 eggs there that I shall use for my carnivore diet uh, throughout the month. And then we have more eggs there. So 30 plus about 18, 48. I usually do about 7 to 8 eggs in a day. So we can calculate how long uh, this, these are 18 plus 30. How long 48 eggs will last me if I'm doing 7 to 8 eggs per day? If I do 7 per day and I buy one more, that's 49 eggs. That means I would consume them within say uh how long say about uh, seven times seven that's about seven days so that's roughly a week so yes that's my carnivore diet uh, um, uh, haul that is what i was able to acquire today in addition to that if you look at the back there i have some fats these are saturated fats on the left we have the merino that is the lamb i i, I usually get some uh lamb fat trimmings and render that into cooking oil and then on the right there we have pork lard which i also use for my cooking okay so i do not believe 
the myth that we have been taught that saturated fats are bad for us. Everywhere you go in Kenya, people say, oh no, don't take animal fats because they are not good for you. They are actually good for us because this is what our grandparents used to use. They used to eat a lot of animal fats. They used to eat all these kind of foods that you are seeing on top of my cooker. And they never died early. Like we have people dying early today because of all manner of diseases you see all manner of cardiovascular diabetes and hypertension this kind of metabolic syndrome illnesses autoimmune conditions we are also having people suffering from cancers that are foods that are diet related today i was advising people who are asking me why i don't wear sunscreen lotion when i'm doing my long walks to maragua and moranga and sabasaba and i said i don't need that because i'm on the carnivore diet and this protects my skin because my skin has been rejuvenated if you look at my skin my skin looks very much uh, better than when i was 39 or 40 years and right now i'm 46 so here what we have we have uh, these are this is pork skin and also pork fat trimmings that i'm going to use the skin i'll use to make something we call shakerons those are carnivore diet snacks and then next to the skin is pork fat pork fat i shall use the trimmings from that pork fat to render into cooking oil I do use animal oils for my food. I cook with animal oils. I don't buy Rina. I don't buy Fresh Free. I don't buy any cooking oils from the supermarket. I don't even buy olive oil. I only use animal oils such as ghee. And then if I have to use additional fats, I use butter as well. So yes, this is my carnivore diet. Uh, welcome to my carnivore diet plan. So this is what I would normally prepare you know what i would do is maybe like if it's a it's a, it's it's on a monday i can do like one sardine i can pick a sardine from here and then i can do a few uh ribs i can do some uh, some nice uh, juicy pork ribs and then in addition to that i can have the bacon will take about 14 days to process i can have a few rushes of bacon rushes of bacon probably about uh five to six rushes of bacon and then a slice of liver i don't need to do more than 150 grams of liver a day and i can also add some eggs you saw the eggs that were there you saw that i have some some nice yellow yolk eggs that i bought from the supermarket there and then in addition to the eggs i can have a bit of prawn about 80 to 85 grams and i would be so satisfied because i also have the lab bones there that i'm going to turn into broth so what are we saying Basically, what we are saying is that carnivore diet has given me a new lease of life, okay? I am strong, I am healthy, I am, I am now not on any diabetes medication, and uh, saturated fats are not bad for us. They are actually quite rather healthy. We know that our grandparents used cream from milk to turn that into ghee. They ate a lot of butter. They did home-baked butter, and they were very healthy. They were much healthier than we are today. We know that they ate a lot of animal fats in their food. We know that they actually rendered animal fats into cooking oil and used that for cooking. Someone was joking with me the other day and asking me why I'm encouraging people to take animal fats. Yet, when you do things like the sheep fat, what happens is that when you take that sheep fat, somebody starts sleeping. <laughs> and I really laughed because this person told me that when they would give their grandmother food that has been made from sheep, uh, red at sheep fat she would start sleeping and drooling some kind of uh, saliva from the from the side of her mouth which i found very interesting i guess it happens but not to everyone so yes you have been able to see how i plan myself i plan my meals i have to do i have to buy things in bulk and pro and now start uh planning how i'm going to have the meals for the entire maybe three weeks or four weeks I believe this, uh, whatever I've been able to buy here can go until the end of the month because you see, it, it, it looks like um, what happens is that all I need to do is just plan and, and, and have a diet plan for each and every day. What I need to consider is, do I have enough omega-3 fat? Do I have enough folate in my diet? Do I have enough biotin? Biotin comes from eggs, all right? Do I have, um, uh, do I, do I have enough, uh, what else can I say? Do I have enough iron from the diet? So do I have uh, enough B12? So what is high in B12? B12 
12 we find that the food that is the most uh, that is the, the the most nutritionally dense food on earth is the liver and that contains a lot of b12 and also folate so yes now you've been able to see how i plan myself how i prepare for my entire month uh, by having all this kind of food that that you have seen on top of my cooker and this is what I would say is responsible for my good health. I am very healthy. I look much younger than I looked about six years ago. I am no longer diabetic. I have been able to reverse the condition. I am not borderline hypertensive. You saw on my YouTube channel that I was able to walk, okay, 51.17 kilometers from my house where I'm recording this video from. I left the house at 4.10. And I reached Sabasaba at 2.37 p.m. So I was able to walk for around 8 hours and 58 minutes, uh, an average of 10, uh, 10 minutes and 32 seconds per kilometer because of the strength of the diet. The diet is giving me a lot of strength and has also healed my body. So my body is in good condition. My body is doing very well. If you want to learn more about the carnivore diet and the do's and the don'ts of the diet, I would I would urge you to reach out to me uh, Munge Ironman Washira that is me on 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 YouTube Munge Ironman Washira my number is 0700 uh, 000797 that is 0700000790 reach out uh, sorry 0700000797 not 790 but 797 that is 0700 triple zero seven nine seven please reach out to me and send me a whatsapp tell me what are your struggles are you struggling with weight are you struggling with diabetes is it hypertension uh, has your doctor allowed you to go low carbohydrate diet i will be glad to sit down with you and educate you and guide you on the diet so that you know the do's and the don'ts and you know exactly how to go about a diet that will manage these conditions for life so thank you very much look out for my videos i'll do a lot of videos i'll also be doing a lot of videos on my tiktok chat account which is under uh, at munge underscore washira i'll do a lot of tiktok videos there but more on the side of education about diabetes especially to the kikuyu community that is on tiktok but however on the youtube channel i use english as a uh, primary language and that is a primary mode of communication i use english the only place where i use kikuyu is my tiktok channel because i am reaching out primarily to the kikuyu audience so thank you so much for your time i pray that you uh, you, you subscribe to my channel and uh let your friends also subscribe to my channel i'll not be focusing on sharing any more content on facebook or instagram i am going to be more on youtube and also uh the the, the tiktok so you need to follow me kindly follow me munge ironman washira my number is zero seven zero zero triple zero seven nine seven and also follow me on tiktok uh, at munge underscore washira so that you can learn more about diabetes and how to manage the condition and also how to manage obesity so have a nice evening and look out for more of my videos as from to, uh, even as from now you can also go through all of them that are there that i have already posted but many more will be coming on my channel so thank you so much and enjoy your evening